Hello, welcome to Code Snippet Java. So, in this video, we are going to cover virtual threads, which is new feature introduced in Java 21. We are actually going to create up to one million threads, and let's see if it actually works in our system. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So, let's first discuss the existing threads that we have, and let's see what problem we are trying to address here. So, here I am creating a runnable basically, and I am slipping it for five seconds. After that, I have a simple for loop. I'm creating a thread by using this runnable and I'm giving it some name. I'm starting the thread and I'm just printing that the thread is started. And after that, I'm adding this thread to a particular list and I will run another loop. So I'm just doing thread.join here in this loop and trying to check if the thread is completed and printing it here, right? So if you see here thread count, I'm giving thousand. That means I'll create a thousand thread here. So if I run this code, let's see what happens. So it created thousand threads and it's completed so all the threads are completed with their execution right so until this no problem so let's increase this number of threads to 10,000 right now let's rerun this code now do you see here it is giving out of memory error so basically this existing thread that we have is called as platform thread and platform thread is associated with a OS thread basically it is consuming your CPU resources right so the number of threads you can create here depends on your CPU right because each thread is associated with your OS thread right now this is a problem with platform threads as you increase the number of threads the resources also needs to be increased so here virtual threads comes into picture let's add a virtual thread here so what I'll do here thread dot of virtual dot unstarted i will say because uh, we haven't started it yet and what i will do here i will pass the runnable that we have and we will start it here okay so that's it this is how we can create a virtual thread now if i run this code let's see what happens so see it created and completed the execution of 10,000 threads so that is not a problem basically virtual thread is not tied to your os thread directly that is the reason it is able to execute so many thread at once even if we increase this number to let's say 1 lakh i think this will again go through so let's try that as well see so 1 lakh threads are created and it's executing it now and the execution is also completed right, right. so here we have tried 100k threads without any problem we have ran it successfully all of them completed no problem right now let's try to make it 1 million let's say and let's see how it goes so i'll add one more zero here and let's rerun it so here it started already created uh, 1 million threads here and now it is started executing it see the execution is going on and pretty soon probably it will complete all of them yeah see so uh, all of them are completed without any problem so that is the beauty of virtual threads that we have now the important question to answer here is that when should we use virtual threads right there should be some criteria so let's see what it is we will go to this documentation here so if you see here, uh, we have explained platform threads here. So platform threads is basically wrapper around OS thread as we discussed. And what is virtual threads? So virtual thread is basically a thread which is not tied to a specific OS thread, right? As you can see here. However, the virtual thread still runs the code on OS thread, but it's not bound to use only one thread, right? Now let's discuss why virtual threads, right? and when to use it so basically use virtual threads in high throughput concurrent applications right whenever you need high throughput in your application you can go with virtual threads especially those that consist of great number of concurrent tasks and most of the threads are in timed waiting state in that case we should go with virtual threads and one more point to remember here is virtual threads do not run code any faster than platform threads we shouldn't use it for latency purpose rather we should use it for higher throughput right so that is the use case of uh, virtual threads that we have so if you want to go through this documentation further i will share the link in description you can go ahead and check that that's it on virtual threads today hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching if you like the video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel and see you in the next video